Some time ago we did a video where we used antifreeze to fluid balance the 1420s on the 923 6x6. And there were people who were fascinated. There were people who checked in having done it to agricultural tires and said it would be just fine. There were people who checked in and said the antifreeze would eat the rubber, um, that it, the tire rubber was, was different. And, you know, there just was an awful lot of trepidation on the whole concept. So I decided the best thing to do would be just to simply make a test. So these are my winter tires from my pickup. I figured the rubber there has got to be, well, if anything, softer, but certainly comparable to the inside of the uh, 1420s. I put the antifreeze in here, and they sat on the rack in one spot for, I think, three months. Then I run them on the truck all winter long. So yeah, it's true that this is only an eight-month test, but it's still an eight-month test. And I figured the biggest telling factor if it was going to eat the rubber would be the antifreeze would no longer be green. But as you can see, there it is, just green as can be down inside there. It does not feel softer. When I scratch my finger, I can come up with some black. I guess I'm torn. I wouldn't think you should be able to do that to new tires. But I, I still don't believe the antifreeze is doing it to it. But I thought it would be worth giving an actual test. What do you think, bud? Is it a good test? Yeah. I thought it'd be worth giving an actual test. So rather than yelling over the internet, here are some real results. Scratching with my fingernail. The rubber feels no softer. Oh, well, look at that. Hold on a sec. Let me clean that fingernail out. It's a precision instrument. Well, I can roll up a little bit of black dust Daddy, by rubbing on the outside. This? That's a that's a tire crayon. Can I have that back? I want to draw on it. Well, hold, I'll let you draw on them when we're done. You can practice your R's and your L's. How's that sound? Okay. Yeah, there's a winner suggestion. Anyways, back to this. I can roll up a little bit of black when I scratch the sidewall on the outside. Um, not as much as I can roll up on the inside, and I don't know if having the fluid there is the reason or if having the fluid there makes what I do scratch up seem more impressive. But here, here are the results that I have. Eight months uh, in the tire. There are no soft spots. The antifreeze is still bright green. I think it's fine. I have no intentions of pulling it out of any of the tires on the 923. I don't even have any intentions of pulling it out of these tires. I'll uh, continue to run it. That way if there's some sort of long-term failure you know, outside. yep, soon, bud. That way, if there's a long term failure, that I'll know faster. So, is mm. this a very good tire or a bad tire? Well, since you bring it up, I find these to be very good tires, and I thought I'd throw out one more plug for the good people at Treadright. I know um, the carcasses are Yokohama, and that's where I scratched was the Yokohama. Uh, carcass but these are tread right recaps and I have been so happy with that company I've only lost one tire due to sidewall damage and they replaced it no questions asked they simply asked for the date code and a picture all right here you go it's on the way these were their mud terrain snow tires and I got the glass and walnut shell embedded in them and I have been I just have been very happy with the trend right company. Anyways, there's my little plug for those guys because I approve. Good American company. But there's the antifreeze test. Make of it what you wish. I'm not going to go out on a limb and say it's perfectly fine because I do not want to be responsible for your tires. I will say that in my opinion, 
it's perfectly fine and I have uh, no intention of changing it for my tires. Good luck.